look at the case of a table with friction and we have our big mass m and our little mass little m this time we have friction opposing this system friction opposes these two masses so first we isolate one mass let's find f net equals ma for this individual mass well we look at this and we say we have a larger force t and a smaller force f that is opposing it well the net force is the effective force that's uh, acting on that big mass m and it would be t minus f the opposing force so we write t minus f that's the net force equals big m a now hit pause and make sure you understand that now let's isolate the other mass We'll draw a little window around little mass m, and we want to find the F net equals ma situation for this. Well, once again, the larger force acting down is mg, and the smaller opposing force is the tension. It is accelerating downward. Therefore, I can write mg minus t, that's the net force, equals ma. I hit pause and make sure you understand what's happened there. Now we'll look at the entire system. And we'll find F net equals MA for the big system. Well, we have two forces acting, and we need to find F net equals MA. And we have MG, the larger force, causing those masses to accelerate in one direction, and an opposing smaller force, F. The string is just a connector between the masses. So we have the net force here will be mg, little mg, minus f. And we set it equal to the total mass that is being accelerated, which is the sum of the two, m plus big M, and we multiply by a. Now what you need to do is take this example, this situation, and try to write out from memory and explain as you go the three F net equals MA equations for this application.